first of all, just um, really appreciate the way our guys um, put it back in and, and competed. You know, it's hard when you lose a game like we did against Miami. And um, when you invest so much and come up short to, to be able to, to do it over and um, it's really proud of them, you know, the way that they put it all back in and invested and we started fast. Uh, offensively and defensively. I thought we really played a clean first half. Uh, There's a lot of things, you know, that were fun to watch during that. I thought Bailey uh, operated well, was very accurate. Uh, Thayer uh, had a heck of a game and career highs for him and catches and yards. And uh, it was great to see Tyler Baker Williams get that interception and get us back uh, in a takeaway column there. But uh, just a lot of positives, you know, and we were able to finish the game uh, with a physical run game, you know, uh, eating up about six minutes on the clock there after a score for them. So, you know, happy to get the W, and it's great to be back in the win column and look forward to uh, what that does for our guys mentally moving forward. Go ahead, Brett. <clears throat> Dave, was it part of the game plan to get Thayer more involved, or was that just something that Florida State was giving you? No, they were just giving us the slants inside. Um, you know, just the way people play us. There's obviously a progression in, in different route concepts. And, um, you know, we were expecting a certain um, form of quarters coverage. And if the mic went a certain direction, he was going to go back to the other side where Thayer was. And, and that was kind of what they were playing. Um, we had to feel him out a little bit, you know, as quite a few things that were different in that game for Florida State with, with their quarterback out. And and then defensively, number five played for him, which we didn't expect to see him. And so they were doing some things with weak sa safety blitzes. And it was just one-on-one -on -one in the slot with Thayer, and he was able to take advantage of it. Thanks, Dave. You bet. Go ahead, David. Hey, Coach. Uh, you know, Bailey started the first drive eight for eight, 93 yards, touchdown. Can you just talk about how that how that set the tone for the for the night offensively? Yeah, well, I mean, he was on fire early. He was very accurate, and uh, he had a great week of practice. Uh, that's why he was one of our game captains today. He was very well prepared. Uh, he knew what he was looking at. He knew where to go with the football, and he threw on time. I mean, they max blitzed him in two empties. We had an unblocked guy coming right at him and was able to, you know, uh, work the ball arm angle-wise to open guys and convert. So, you know, when your quarterback's playing like that and you can get off to a good start, it gives a lot of – you know, people on the sideline confidence. And so excited for him and the progression that he's made in these last two weeks. Thanks, Coach. Go ahead, Corey. Uh, Dave, continuing on uh, Bailey Hoffman there, you know, just seeing the, the type of performances he's had this past two weeks, you mentioned the, the offensive confidence that they have now with him. You know, just the, the fact that he's been able to come in and have those type of performances, how much has that changed the outlook for the rest of the season as well? Well, I mean, anytime your quarterback's playing well, I don't care what level of football you're playing, you got a chance to be really good, you know, and he's played at a high level for two weeks. So we're very excited. And offensively, there's a lot of confidence in Bailey, not just with the players, but the coaches, you know. And uh, so it's good to see him you know, be in that role and take advantage of the opportunity uh, that he has with Devin being out. And, you know, obviously he made the most of it the last two weeks. We're really excited about how he's playing. And I know the players are too. It's hard to have a quiet 94 yards rushing, but Bam Knight did that tonight. You know, <laughs> obviously you guys wanted to get the rushing game going, you know, down the stretch, but how big was that for, for his confidence moving forward as well? Yeah, and, and I think he got robbed uh, of about 25 more yards on a great stiff arm um, to call an offensive face mask on a running back. That, that never happens, but he played great. You know, Bam's been a catal uh, catalyst for us on offense, on special teams. He's done a lot of things. Um, and so, you know, every time he touches the football, it's exciting, you know. So we just got to get him the ball more probably. But uh, really happy that we were able to get the run game going. I thought their defense did a nice job stopping us in the run game. We had to throw, you know, to score points there for a while. It was great in the fourth quarter to be able to finish with the run game. Thanks, Dave. Go ahead, Jonas. Coach Thayer has been so reliable um, throughout his career here. Did you, did you feel like he was kind of due for a big breakout game like he had tonight? Yeah, you know, I'm happy for him, for one. He's just one of those kids that works so hard, uh, never says anything, whether he has zero catches or 11. You know, we gave him a, uh, and Bailey a game ball tonight, and 
<laughs> players wanted him to give a speech and he just said, I don't say much, you know, let's just keep winning. And that's just how he is. So, you know, you love it when guys like him that are just the grinders have a game like that. You know, I think it says a lot about, and it's kind of just the karma he has, you know, I'm really happy for him. Uh, last one for coach will come from Andrew. Do you have any update on Emeka or Joe? They're fine. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. You guys have a good night.